Now in theaters. Jesse Pinkman is trading in the drug traffic trade for just traffic in Need for Speed. When a street racer is framed and sent to prison by his business rival, he'll race across the country to get revenge. It's Fast and the Furious without more famous celebrities, based on a video game franchise with no real plot other than driving fast. Starring the less popular actor from Breaking Bad, the cast of Duck Dynasty, and the cast of Cars 2, where anything with wheels spends more time in the air than the Dukes of Hazard between commercial breaks. Kind of fun physics-defying action flick if you turn your brain off. Three stars. Need for Speed. Rated PG-13. If you thought you'd be sick of seeing half-naked Greeks slaying their enemies in super slow motion, you'd be wrong. 300 Rise of an Empire. Prepare for the half-prequel, half-sequel to 300 with all your favorites like Crazy Made-Up Monsters, Cash for Gold, Beams, and Abs. In this tolerable follow-up to the original 300, three and a half stars. The only reasons to watch it in 3D are the things floating in the foreground, like raindrops, blood, dust, and embers. Oh, and beams. 300 Rise of an Empire, rated R. It's the movie kids everywhere will enjoy, but not as much as Lego Movie. Mr. Peabody and Sherman, a genius dog and his adopted boy, learn history firsthand in their time machine. Full of inappropriate content for younger kids like alcohol consumption, Trojans chanting about making the streets run red with blood, and child endangerment. Starring Modern Family, The Colbert Report, and Kronk's New Groove. All other voices by Jess Arnell. Here's what critics are saying about Mr. Peabody and Sherman. It's not really as good as the Lego Movie. I liked it, but the Lego Movie was much better. Mr. Peabody and Sherman, rated PG. Frankenstein's monster, who looks more like a regular guy with scars, fights in a war between heaven and hell to survive in I, Frankenstein. Starring the cast of Gargoyles, the animated series, the cast of Underworld, the extremist soldiers from Iron Man 3, Two-Face, and Clash of the Titans. So let me get this straight. Gargoyles aren't demons, but aren't angels either, but fight for angels. And they're all after Frankenstein's monster because the demons want to learn how to reanimate an army of corpses so that fallen demons can possess them and destroy the world? Oh, okay then. I, Frankenstein, rated PG-13. I never asked for this. That's no moon. It's an in and out burger. Optimus Prime ride S. Grim Lock because it S. Prime Nuff said, this is a knife and this is a banana. Pick your weapon. But I chose the banana. He should have armed himself if he's gonna decorate his saloon with my friend. It's morphin time. You, I'm a Power Ranger. You're so old, my grandma laughed. Beeps. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Or this movie is rated R for scenes of graphic violence, mature language, and beeps. It's 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas. It's dark and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs>